Tidings and welcome. The great torch shines with the pure light of mania. You chose well. In accordance with the ancient tradition, receive now the raiment of Arden Sul in honor of your mighty deed in service to mania. Yes, how we would all aspire to be as great a leader as the first, our savior, Arden Sul, the greatest duke of the ages. We celebrate him with the ritual of accession, the path to maniac bliss. An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Arden Sul was perhaps the greatest duke to walk our land. Many years ago, he decided to hold a night of absolute indulgence, resplendent with dance, wine, and sex, to celebrate his fondness for his brethren. The green moat flowed like water in a stream as the revelers voraciously succumbed to its rapturous waves. Ah, but it was. As the bacchanal reached a crescendo, the people began to clutch their chests as their very hearts exploded. The green moat had taken its toll. The ground stained a deep crimson as the sanguine liquid flowed from their lifeless bodies. To represent that night, when the ruler of mania is to be replaced, he partakes of the green moat and allows his lifeblood to flow upon the altar. Certainly, when the ruler of mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. The successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, song, and, of course... Green Moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst, and his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug-tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess, then, Sheagorath gives his blessing, and the cycle is completed. I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find Mania to be a fickle friend. Blasphemy! Never utter the name of the Dark Deceiver lightly. Though his body is beyond oblivion, his soul encircles us, always watching, waiting to pounce with lethal aplomb. He is the bringer of pain and pleasure, the blade that cuts through our sins like a scythe through wheat. Only a true demented can appreciate what it means to render his name. Seldom is the subject ever br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? As it happened so many years ago, my lord Arden Sul suspected a traitor in his midst. Not wishing to find himself on the wrong end of a blade, he gathered his flock here in the Sacellum. By poisoning the sacramental wine, Arden Sul was able to suppress any such conspiracy in one fell swoop. Yes, he then removed their hearts from their bodies and used his ancient scrying technique, known as visceromancy, to read their lifeblood. When Arden Sul couldn't divine the traitor's true nature in their hearts, he became distraught and took his own life in the same way. From that day on, the ritual of accession for the throne of dementia was set.
Very well. Spoken like a true son of the demented. To become the ruler of Dementia, the current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer a duke or duchess. Then, all that is required is the blessing of our lord, Sheogorath. How nice for you! Does that mean you've made a decision? Or are you lost? Suicidal? Just let me know. A friendly word of warning before you choose. Once you've decided which duke to replace, there's no turning back. One choice. No more. No less. Try not to do something stupid. So which is it? What will it be? Mania? Dementia? The suspense is killing me! Or you, if I have to keep waiting. A dangerous choice. I like it! <laughs> She's gotten to be a bit much anyway. Thinks everyone is out to get her. Which they are in this case. So be it! Sil is as crafty as she is beautiful. I'd watch my back if I were you. <laughs> this is so much fun! We will speak when your task is complete. Be quickly, mortal. I bid you welcome. Ah, good to see you again. Yes? My life is drab and wretched by comparison. You think that's... F that's enough? What nonsense. I won't fight you. Gracious, what a hit. That's just not... F what nonsense. That's just stupid. That's enough. What n That's amazing. What a dumb... Don't talk. You've got... I salute you most impressive. I can't argue with that. What n That's a... Am you think that's funny? I see. She is staying well out of sight. No need to take unnecessary risks.
I maintain a close watch on her. She fears that Sheagoras no longer favours her presence and wants her replaced. Perhaps I've misjudged you. All right, I'll help. Just remember me when you take over her position. What can I do to help you? Well, the best I can offer is help with the guards. I can distract at least two of them and get them to leave her wing of the palace. That should help you to get in there a bit easier. Oh, it's you. What is it you require? All right. That's just talk. Don't waste your flattery on me. Good one. Gracious, what a hero! Yeah, I get it. Don't try to manipulate me. Such... You're wasting your breath. Sure, that's cute. Don't talk such... Gracious, you're wasting your breath. That works for me. I suppose I should be grateful working in the palace with her. But I can't stand having to constantly look over my shoulder. I don't know if she has it in for me or not. I think she is in constant fear of being replaced. Yes. I see you may have what it takes to replace her. Very well. What is it you need from me? Hmm. That may be difficult. Syl has been hidden from public sight lately. However, I can give you something that may help. Take this key. It should unlock any door in her wing of the palace. You still need to be wary of her seducer guards, but it should help.
What do you want now? I told you what I'm willing to do. Now get away from me before someone hears us. Don't be fooled. The ritual isn't over. The body on the bed isn't Syl, but merely an impersonator. The real Syl uses many such decoys to throw would-be killers off her trail. Syl has made her escape through the hidden tunnel in the gardens outside her quarters. She must not get away! Be wary. I fear that her escape may be a ruse to lure you into an ambush. Please. Don't continue speaking with me. Time is of the essence.
Fisken. For Shea Gareth.
Hello? Who's there?
and fight! You to the death! Another sheep returns to the flock. Once again has the ritual of accession come full circle. The heart of Sil has been consumed by Arden Sul's will, and the demented welcome you with open arms. I now declare you to be Duke of Dementia of the Shivering Isles. May your wrath and anger be your guide. Pleasure and pain, my lord. You have done it! The ritual is complete! And you have survived! A hood of thought! Now, on to other... Wait, I must speak! Halt! Cease! Desist! Faden! How dare you interrupt me? Only I interrupt me! Like, just then. I'm speaking with someone. We'll talk later. Or not. When is later, exactly? Uh, not now, I'm sure of that. Guards! I think Thaden forgot how to use the door. Kindly show him out. Before I forget myself. Sill? My... Sill is dead? This can't be right. Is this right? What have you done? Have you done this? Hold your tongue, little duke, or I'll tear it from your mouth. But this stranger? Someone new? From somewhere else? Not here. I'm sure of that. I don't understand. Or I can't. Calm yourself, Thaden. You're making my teeth itch. You still hold your office, 
I suggest you see to your duties. Ridiculous! You can't do this, although you're omnipotent or just tall. It's one of the two, I'm sure. And a fool. Fool? Visionary! Changes in the air, Thedon. Breathe it deep. Bathe in its scent. Bottle it up. Save some for later. Order approaches. It's taken the fringe already. With order clothes and order hats. And you speak of change? Change will preserve us. It is the lifeblood of the Isles. It will move mountains. It will mount movements. No. No, certainly not. This isn't good. I'm sure it's bad. I can't do this anymore. No more. Then go, Thaden. Have your green moat. Take a bath. But leave before I decorate my throne with your insides. Yes, that's it. I'll go. Away, far away. Working for them is like working for us, but without all the dying. No! Let him go. Enough. I go to Jigalag. I give myself to him as a priest of order. This isn't done, Mad God. I think it's just started. Wondering why I let him go, aren't you? I can see it in your face. Mostly in the eyes. I may take those from you when this is done. This has never happened before. The ruler of mania, turning traitor. Unprecedented. But different is good. A new act in this play. Maybe we're onto something here. We'll see how it plays out. It can't be worse than what's happened before. I do. I did. And I won't say it again. But that's enough about that. You're the ruler of dementia. Just look at you. You're positively beaming. You now have the power to summon dark seducers. They've always served the Duke of Dementia. I think they have a thing for pain. And here is the Ring of Lordship. A symbol of your new station. Symbols are important. They carry weight in this realm and others. You would be well served to remember that. He was right about that. I can feel it in my bones. The little ones. The Grey March has swept the fringe. Order gathers its forces there as we speak. And I hate when people gather forces in my fringe. You'll need to put an end to that. Stop them. My army should already be there. But I want you to see what you can do to help. If they continue to marshal their forces there, we won't be able to contain them. Make sure they can't. Congratulations! Yes? I'm not...
listening to you. 